Welcome back to News Geelong and this Friday evening as we turn to the action-packed world of Geelong sport and our own flying hawk, Nathan Curry. Good evening, Nathan. Thanks very much, Rollo. Well, I'm down here at the Geelong Falcons. News Geelong was all over the Anzac Day clash between St Joe's and South Bowen. And we caught up with South Bowen's captain, Paul Sullivan, after the match. Yeah, it was um, pretty hard fought out in the end. You know, the big first half set us up and probably lucky in the end that there wasn't a couple of minutes left in the game, so we snuck home by that goal, goal or two. Let's look at the first half. Uh, at halftime, South Bowen 11-6, led St Joseph's 1-4. The boys have been playing very, very good football and, of course, highlighted by that wonderful mark taken by Josh Westwood. Yeah, Westy, he's a little freak, so he's just come across this year from the uh, from the MO, so he's a great little recruit. But that first half, that's what we're about and how we want to play our footy. And It's just a bit of a pity we didn't put the uh, put that into the second half, but you know, we still walked away with the four points, probably did enough in that first two quarters. So. And you had players like uh, Clinton Wells. Uh, Wells continues to impress whether the ball's in the air or on the ground. I think a lot of people watching football don't see that that groundwork, the second and third efforts he makes. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't stop when, uh, when he's in the air, even though he's our, he's our marking target up forward. But, you know, we, we set most of our game plan up around Wellsy. So, you know, you get the two forwards crumbing to him at his feet. And then, um, you know, once he hits the ground, he doesn't stop. So he's got two or three efforts in him pretty much every time. And then after half time, well, uh, St Joseph's really came out to play football because in the, they got to within, what, seven goals at uh, three-quarter time. But it was that final term when they uh, finally kicked nine goals to South Bowen's uh, two goals to get within uh, eight points. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was... We knew they were going to come out after half time. We just had to weather it for that first, you know, five, ten minutes in the third quarter. But, you know, they... To their credit, they kept chipping away and, you know, got those one or two goals early in the last quarter, which got them the roll on Then things just started happening their way. And, you know, once the team like Joseph gets on the roll, they're pretty hard to stop. They're a quality team, so they work well. I thought the two Pauls, Paul Corrigan uh, and yourself, uh, Paul Sutherland, played very uh, outstanding games, good leadership games. Yeah, Cogsy down back, he's uh, he's our general, so he sets us up. And, look, he, he's the real leader of this club. He, he's voice and direction and, obviously, the ex-coach, he's amazing for us. And yourself, don't be modest. <laughs> yeah, not too bad, mate. A few little mistakes in there, but, you know, we're, we're looking to clean all that up. So, you know, we've got the four points and we build on from that. The rest uh, next weekend uh, will do you the world of good? Yeah, definitely. It comes at a pretty good time. You know, you do a whole pre-season, play three or four practice matches and, you know, three or four games at the start of the season and, you know, a nice little freshen up. So I think we get a 10-day break, so we'll be right to go after that. And how impressed were you with uh, St Joseph's? Yeah, very good. They're um, obviously well coached. So, you know, they're always a quality side. Last year they probably a bit unlucky with a few games and they're going to be right up there this year. They just showed that in the, the second half there. Yeah, well, you man well up on uh, Robertson, uh, of course, their coach and their, uh, their staff forward. Yeah, he's pretty dangerous, so you see him going for a few angles, nearly gripped a couple, so we had a pretty good match-up earlier then. He, got, he went on ball and gave him a fair bit, so yeah, it's good for the league and it's good for Joey's. Thanks for your time, Paul. Well, how have the boys pulled up after the long break? Uh, not too bad. We've only had one who's pulled up really sore, who's probably going to miss this week in Tommy Watson, but most of the group have pulled up pretty well. Yeah. You're only 6% in front of North Ballarat. You take on them this weekend. Do you see it as a crucial match? Yeah, definitely a crucial match. They got the better of us in a practice match uh, five weeks ago, so we certainly want to turn the tide around on them and, uh, and uh, yeah, prove our point with them. Yeah. Usually you don't know much about your opposition sides, but as you said, you did take them on in a practice match. Does that give you confidence so you sort of know what to expect? Yeah, we took them on in that practice match. We probably went at our best. We sort of were trying to find our feet a bit with a few kids. And then we've also got the last couple of games. We sort of had a look back over them to see the style of play. And it's very similar to what we saw in that practice game. And you do get a better feel as the season goes on on your opposition. And finally, we'll just focus on you for a minute. What's your exact role within the club? I'm the midfield coach for the under-18s. I used to be the 16s coach, so I've worked my way up from there and did the board a couple of years ago, but the midfield coach the last two years. So, um, yeah. It's a pretty good role. It's great to work with all the all the better kids and, and through the middle of the ground, certainly where all the excitement is. And yeah, it's a great great area to work on. Did you work with some kids that were in the under 16s and now you've followed them through to the under 18s? Yeah, both uh, top age boys and the bottom age boys. The majority of them I've, I've coached at, at 16, so I've sort of got to know them pretty well over the last two or three years. So it's been good. good. That's it for me tonight. I'll be back next Wednesday night. But until then, as always, it's back to you all. Thank you, Nathan. Well done. You have a safe weekend and we'll see you next Wednesday evening. And now to the latest Geelong weather information for the next six days. It's a warm welcome back from a small holiday break in country Victoria to our own sparkling Lani Salathiel. Good evening, Lani. 
Thanks, Graham. Let's take a look at what this autumn weather holds in store for us over the next week. Tomorrow, to start off the weekend, it will be a partly cloudy day with an expected top of 22. For Sunday, we're looking at a cloudy day with some patchy rain around at times and a top of 20. Starting off the new week, Monday will be also cloudy with a patchy rain around and a top of just 17. Tuesday will be a cloudy day again, some isolated showers expected and a top of just 16. For Wednesday will also be some clouds and isolated showers around over Geelong, a top of 17 again. And for Thursday we're looking at continuing the trend with some cloudy periods and isolated showers and a top of 17. And today we saw a partly cloudy day with a top temperature of 23. And that's the weather outlook for the coming week. Have a good weekend and it's back to you Graham. Thank you Lani and thank you for being with us on News Geelong. To all our Bowen Health and our friend Stephen Hartle, remember, take your time and smell the flowers. Before we go, a reminder, put it in your diaries for each week along with News Geelong. The Geelong and District Netball Program at 8 tomorrow morning, followed by the men of knowledge and mirth in the world of local footy with the GDFL Footy Show at 8.30. Then in tomorrow afternoon's footy matches of the day, Tune in to 94.7 FM Pulse Radio for the GDFL match of the day between Bannockburn and North Geelong at Victoria Park Bannockburn from 1.30 and in the Geelong Football League, the match between Geelong West St Peters and Colac. 99.5 FM Vision Australia Radio in Geelong. Thanks for being with us in News Geelong. You have a pleasant and enjoyable weekend. Stay safe. Until next week, a very good night.